Oh my lord. What? What's a cat? Hold on, hold on. Great, we're good. Um, all right, let's go train. Sorry, I was just sorting my pineapple on pizza for lunch today. Uh, let's see. Yes. Hey, tomato cat. We don't have the 25% uh, multiplier, so I think we probably got to do a couple of these. All right, let's try it now. This might be enough. Hopefully it is. Nightrun says lots of interruptions lately in the channel. Yep, deal with it. And quit your whining. Appreciate you being here though, thank you. Great, we nailed it. He's <laughs> he's basically rebuilding his house. Yes. See here. Here's the thing. Here's the thing that a lot of people don't understand. I made a choice a long time ago. I want to tell you something. Well, gotta say I don't remember how I died. Okay, this got awkward. One sec. I think I just fell asleep on the couch in my closet and got eaten by rats. Oh wait, it wasn't rats. The rats wouldn't have stolen my wallet. But in any case, my life did not end gloriously. But I remember how I woke up. First thing I saw was you, kid. Thanks to you, we're surrounded by what we see here now. When you brought me back, it was too disgusting to even take a crap in this gym. Now it's bright and I'm presuming it's also warm in here. And there's all these people here too. The place has brought them together, given their life meaning. Even on the most depressed, dirtiest streets of the city, hope is alive. Not too much, but hey, it means a lot, kid, to bring hope back to the streets. Like my master told me once, oh my god, this is just unbearable. Damn, dude, this is so boring. Does he think we're immortal? We can just listen to him forever? Oh my god! Nick, I think we just tamed a bunch of jerks. Maybe. But who among us hasn't been a jerk at least once in a while? What was it your master told you? One day he came up to me, looked at me intently, got all silent for a while, and then he said, now you are the master. And then he ran away. I never saw him again. To be honest, I didn't understand the wisdom in that lesson. Whether there was any at all. But as you can see, I'm not running anywhere. Is your hologram, right? Yeah. When I look at you and see everything you've done, kid, I can't help but quote my master. Now you are the master. Like Kenobi. Thank you, Mick. I wouldn't have made it down this road without you, but you know, huh? You really could work on telling stories faster. Oh, that's a Scorsese, you cheeky little. Nice. nice. By the way, now you can meditate. To do that, just use your meditation mat in your closet. It bring you peace and satisfaction. Oh. Yo, look at that. Dang, dude. Okay. We still got to do the walk. Okay. Anyway, like I was saying before, here, here's the deal. I've talked about this many times, but obviously, you know, we got a lot of viewers, so not everyone's going to understand this. But let me just make this, this super duper clear. I stream generally between six to eight hours during the day and then between one and three hours in the evening. And I do that every single day. Now, what I could do is I could work on structuring my life so I would take more time off and not have interruptions on the stream. But I made the decision a while back, years ago at this point, to not do that, just stream as much as I want to slash can and deal with everything as it comes. So 
that is a choice that I've made. It means there's gonna be interruptions. It means that some days there's gonna be more interruptions than others. Uh, I've been rebuilding my house essentially for the last year and a half, and that's been a huge thing I've had to deal with. I've told my wife explicitly, call me whenever you want. Um, you know, I don't care. If, I've told the kids they can come down and chill if they want to, or if they need me to come get me. So this, I, I understand that as a viewer, it's not for everyone, but that's how I've decided to do this. Because here's the thing, I wanna stream for you guys for decades more. I've already streamed for you for a decade. I wanna stream for you for decades longer. And I feel like by making this the most fluid and easy experience, that actually has a chance of happening. I'm playing the long game, not the not the sprint. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not just grabbing a bunch of money and then gonna stop streaming. I, I wanna do this until I'm 80. Um, but to do that, I have to make sacrifices. And one of those is not, you know, having my phone on during the stream, taking things as they come, dealing with all that as it happens. So, you know, that's how that works. But I do understand that by doing that, again, it's not for everyone. And if it's not for you, that's okay. That's okay. Um, if you really like me for some reason, hit up my YouTube and then anytime that stuff happens, you can just fast forward right through it or you know, and, and I say this in the most polite way, find a streamer that better fits your expectations because there are plenty of streamers out there that are far more entertaining than me and never stop playing games. They have nothing going on in their life. They just play games. They, they literally turn their phone off during the stream and they are wildly and super entertaining. So if that's what you want. I, I invite you to go find them um, because again, you're not gonna get a lot of entertainment here and it's gonna be interrupted. It's like a double lose. <laughs> it's like a double lose. Um, <laughs> so, but, but, you know, I, I seriously, I, I say that not as to be a jerk, but just like we have a very limited amount of time on this planet um, and I want you to get what you want out of your streaming viewing. So there you go. That's, that's how that works. That's how that works. I'm happy if you're happy, even if you're not happy here. And that's okay. By the way, thank you to GM Workshop for the raid. I appreciate you, buddy. Welcome to, uh, I, I'm sorry, I was mid-rant when you raided. So I would I would normally tell the subs to flood the channel with hearts, but the raid is over. Um, mods, if we can give him a shout out, that'd be great. And uh, yeah, th thank you, GM Workshop. I appreciate your uh, your raid there. Okay, we've got a next fight in, th oh, we, we got stuff to do, we got stuff to do. Um. This is 5.2 kilometers and I have to walk it. So we, we have to travel like, what, 42 kilometers in a day? What's the farthest we can go? 5.7, 6.9. Okay, so it looks like it looks like this is probably the furthest, but I can't travel there. Uh, let's go here. I do want to knock this out. We also got to bring the dude his pizza. Let's, let's walk back up to here. I don't know if the fights actually take time. Do they actually take time? Uh, oh, Nuriel says, did you want the Paleo closed beta keys run now or this afternoon? Now's fine. Yeah, let's let's get out some Paleo closed beta keys and that way people can actually like get it downloaded and stuff before it happens. Hydration is required. Shout out to the Paleo devs, by the way. They gave us some keys to, uh, to give out to you guys. So we'll be doing giveaways throughout the day for them. I brought you the donuts, whoops. Donuts for the party? What party? Celebrate how I'm a winning machine? The Stop messing around. The more you stand, the tighter you get. How do you enter for the Pele keys? Uh, just hang tight and you will see a notification on the overlay and in chat whenever we run a giveaway. And just uh, when, when that happens, um, just follow the instructions. Yeah. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Let's go back. What food and beverages should I buy for BG3 binge? You want carbs, sugar, and protein, but you don't want too much of any of those. If you if you get too much carbs, like I tend to, then you're gonna you're gonna have problems. But I would say make 
make sure to balance your carbs, protein, and sugar. Um, and a lot, and get lots of water. Get lots of water. I'm gonna be getting lots of seltzer today. Gonna be loading up on uh, on my polar. And um, yeah, sugar is carbs, though. How dare you? How dare you? Don't ever. Ow. Sugar is sugar, and carbs are carbs. Oh yes, lots of whiskey, alcohol. Absolutely. That's also big. Very important. Yep. Thank you, Serious Marie. I brought you that mind-blowing pizza. No way, where'd you get it? Uh, drove to Cretan back, how else? Thank you, my boy. The past few days have been stressful. I think I can afford to relax a bit. Damn yeah, it, I can't wait to try it. Like the good old days, huh? Okay. Uh, let's go down to here. We got our fight soon. We got to keep that in mind. I need to buy more food. Oh, wait. I, what? I thought I gave him this stuff. Do I get to keep it? Oh, okay. Weird. Maybe I got donuts and stuff for myself, too. Are you playing with Karmic Dice on or off tomorrow? Um, many of you guys have noted and asked me about Karmic Dice, and here is what I can say. 1.0 is changing a lot of things, and there's a very good chance that Karmic Dice is part of that. What is Karmic Dice? In early access, Karmic Dice would basically make it so the more powerful your characters were, specifically in terms of how much defenses they had, the harder enemies would hit. Think of it as like a dice hard mode. The problem is that in testing, there were times when having more AC would get you hit harder than if you had less AC. Which obviously, I don't believe was intended. Um, so, I actually floated to the devs like, hey, there's this big Reddit thread. People are very concerned, what's going on? And although they could not really comment on it at the time, it was a very much like, lots of things are changing in 1.0. <laughs> and keep in mind, we don't want the game to be unfun. It's kind of like, okay, that's cool. So I think, I think in Early Access, Karmic Dice was an idea that wasn't fully fleshed out. Um, oh, Theorycrafter said they did officially confirm they'll be fixing that. Okay. So they fixed it and it only benefits you now. Okay. There you go. Thank you. So yeah, I, I was going to say, I think, I think it was an Early Access feature that was not just not fully fleshed out at the time. But it sounds like they fixed it for 1.0. All right, let's do a save. Now this guy I think is gonna be an actual robot. What's up, vanilla face? Now we fight with you like a man with a man, yeah. Most importantly, do not hit the balls. Men. Because like all human men, I have two of them. And they're very sensitive, oh yeah. Like one time I let them listen to Evanescence and they cried all day. Wow, what is that? Is that a humor? This guy's definitely a human, not a robot. Only humans have a humor. A sense of humor, I mean. Wouldn't you agree? Why do you keep saying that? Saying what? That you're a human and not a robot. Because I am human. I am. <laughs> like they say, nothing human is a pie to me, right? <laughs> say that every day. Nani. It's alien. Nothing human is alien to me. <laughs> We've got a robot here! Oh, that's the fight? Thanks for sounding the alarm. The violator forfeits the bout and is expelled from the league. Crazy robot. Lil Bobo's device revealed something else. He's been the one cheating with GPP. Thought he could fool us all. Thought he could fool me. But why is he cheating? I've met other robots in the league. Sure, but they weren't trying to hide who they were. Before each fight, we have a document. 
we have to document all the fighters' augmentations, all the bells and whistles the fighters have. But why? Because certain toys might not be fair. You wouldn't want your opponent to kick you in the balls with a chainsaw, would you? Or explode when you knock him out. Ouch, with a chainsaw? So what are we going to do now? We need to find out who sent this creep here and why. And I know one place where there's always some sort of robot nonsense going on, and that's the junkyard. And it's Dream Lab! Okay. Um, wait, I thought it was... No, I mean the junkyard. Yeah, but the lab is a good idea, too. Yeah, it's true, I agree. But for now, let's go to the junkyard. Okay. I know, we could have just asked him to solve a caption. That would have been that. I agree. All right, uh, let's actually finish. Let's see if we can actually get this 42. I don't think we've traveled enough for this yet, so we're gonna have to see here. We're just gonna walk as much as we can and see how see how much we can do. We can't fix the next fight yet. Hey, there we go. Great, we got it. Perfect. Uh, all right, let's hit the junkyard. Get to the Robo Factory and clean the place up now. Got you, boss. That is so the full throttle guy. I love it. Hey, Karate Kid. Hello. What are you doing at the Robo Factory? Uh, nothing. Just a little sub subotnik. That's what we call cleaning in my country. So what brings you to us? We're about to try to fight in the Pro League as a human, which is against the rules. Do you know why? Why the heck should I know that? Because you're in charge of the robots of the city? That's right. But even I cannot keep track of all these robots. So you can't help me with this? I'm afraid not, comrade. But. Huh? I can give you a piece of advice in this world and in this city especially. Hey, the real, thank you so much for the 20 bomb, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you. You need to listen to orders and not mess up because if you mess up, then very soon you'll be written off as scrap and then you'll be on your own, listening to Evanescence and crying like a sucker. What did you just say? I said you'd be crying like a sucker. No, about Evanescence. I heard the name somewhere before. Oh my god, he's over here giving a thumbs up. That cheating robot said the same thing. No one else in the world remembers Evanescence. You've just been caught. Now answer me, what are you up to? We nothing. This is much, much bigger than you and me. You don't want to answer, we'll take... Look, right there. Right there. Yeah. If you don't want to answer, we'll take you to a pseudo-human robot and go right to the police. Wait a minute. If you mess up, then very soon you'll be written off as scrap. There's no Subotnik at the Robo Factory, is there? You're going to destroy the robot to cover your tracks. Wake me up! Wake me up inside! <laughs> Can't wake up! <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> that is actually fantastic. That was your last screw up, Robo Fool. Huh? Damn it, I'm late. Late for what? Undercover robot's mask. You managed to find out anything? Bring me back to Robo Life. It's all that left of the poor fake human robot, but now we know for sure the mafia's involved. Only we knew exactly how. So, Mr. Perry, does that mean we we're out of leads? I'm afraid so, my boy. Sigh. Like my old man used to say, always be on the lookout. Oh, dang. All right, we'll try this guy. Did you just say sigh? I did. Lol. Oh, we got a, we got a video to watch. Oh my lord.
Uh, okay, martial arts, pain, blood, learning to overcome, and Jean-Claude Van Digi Digi Dan in the title role. What else do you need for a good action movie? Damn, that was the best jump kick ever. Nonsense, I can do that. Okay, then do it. Fine, I can't, just kidding. You don't say. Let's see what we got. Do do do. Students don't get tired as easily when practicing techniques. Yep. Faster training progress when working out with students. Yep. Increases the effectiveness of training on the parallel bars. Uh, I mean, I'm not really using that. Okay. Cool. All right, let's head home. Oh, wait, do we have... Oh, 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 we gotta go to Silver's Gym. But it's not open, is it? Nah. Uh, let's see, we gotta get some of this stuff back. Oh no, we already got it. Oh, we can get the next level. Am I gonna save scum in BD3? No, I'm thinking about it. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. One sec, I gotta think. Okay. I feel like I let my conversation drop too low. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we can do two of these. Doo -doo -doo. realize I didn't take any of my meds today. Um, go do one more. Oh, wow, we're already good. I did not need to do that. Their training has gotten amazing. Northern Thunder! Thank you for the 10 bomb, buddy. Awesome, dude. Uh, okay. Did it shut the day? Yeah, thank you, Northern Thunder, for the 10 bomb. Welcome to the 10 new folks. Thank you, thank you for that. Hey kid, what about my stag party? Watch the last tape? Another movie, no stag party. Well, the hell with it. Oh. Okay. I guess we're doing that. I think we'll do some training.
cool. Oh, Silver's Gym. Uh, about the fitness tracker. What? No, it was me who walked 42 kilometers in a day. I only said that to everyone would think it was actually me who did it. Gotcha. I always do that because I'm athletic and cool. Hey buddy, I owe you one. I think I'll let you know my super secret neuro training regimen. How does that work? It restores your health as quickly as possible and it's extremely satisfying. Sounds cool. I bet if it weren't for the thing, this thing, I'd be a lot lonelier. Mom's Achiever. Okay. So, this guy is a super chungus. Returns 60% of incoming damage back to the enemy. Attacks consume health, but addict uh, uh, deal additional damage. Wow. All right, so definitely after images. We're actually going to try this, I think. Oh, let's do this, actually. Let's see if we can avoid most of his hits. Oh my god. Okay. So what's wild is that definitely Wait, where's auto save? There we go. 29. So that was definitely like doing the best we could to dodge him. Like that's Crystal Cobra. And after images, oh, do we have a better one? Shadow cloning. Okay. Let's try shadow cloning. Okay. Let's see if this works. Great. Great. Okay. 